So with summer fast approaching, I wanted to take a few minutes to share some tips with you guys on how to keep a green lawn, maintain a green lawn between mowings. That's the holy grail, right? It's easy to keep your grass nice and tall, but to keep it nice and short cut and to still have it be green after you've mowed it is the big challenge. So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of tips that I tend to do that have helped me to maintain my lawn uh, in the way you guys see here. So the first tip is really around fertilization. If you think about the, with all the fertilizers that you guys tend to use on your lawn, you go down to like Home Depot and pick up whatever's on the shelf, and a lot of those fertilizers are designed to do extended feeding, right? They're designed to, you put them down once and then they will feed your lawn for, you know, two months, some even advertise for the entire summer. But what we're gonna do, what we're gonna change up is we're gonna change our fertilization frequency to where we're going to do what's called spoon feeding. So instead of fertilizing once for the summer and let that carry throughout the summer, we're gonna fertilize once a month with a granular and then every couple of weeks, we're gonna follow that up with a liquid to help supplement that. So why do we do that? Why, what's the point of adding more fertilizer, actually fertilizing more often during the time when the grass is growing the most, right? It sounds kind of counterintuitive. It, it would make things actually worse, you think, right? But the idea is that we're gonna go with a lighter amount of fertilizer, meaning the amount of nitrogen that we're gonna be putting into the lawn is gonna be less overall. We're just gonna be doing it over smaller intervals, right? So instead of slamming the lawn one time really hard with a ton of fertilizer and then kind of hoping for the best over the course of the season, we're gonna break that up into smaller increments uh, over the course of the season. So I've covered this in other videos before, but in a nutshell, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fertilize with a granular at the beginning of the month. So this is the end of May as I'm filming this. So June is when we're about to start. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a granular fertilizer. The fertilizer that I like to use is one from Lebanon Turf. It's called Humic Max, excellent fertilizer. And the, the, the reason why I like that one is that the makeup of it is that it's relatively quick release, meaning that over the course of four to six weeks, it's going to give most of its energy, most of the nitrogen, most of the nutrients to the soil, which is exactly what I'm looking for, right? I'm going to apply that at a really, really light rate, three pounds per thousand, and that's going to be enough to do the bulk of the nitrogen, deliver the bulk of the nitrogen that the lawn needs to be able to do well. I'm going to follow that up with liquid spoon feeding. So the same day that I put down my granular fertilizer, I'm also going to do a liquid, and then 15 days later, I'm also going to follow that up with another liquid application. Now, the liquid fertilizer I like to use is one called Turfplex. I mix that with a carbon kit from Miramichi Green to help accelerate and help improve uh, nutrient uptake. So what you're ending up with now is a granular fertilizer at the beginning of the month and then a liquid fertilizer twice per month once the first time on the beginning of the month and the second time uh, 15 days in. So that's the big thing. If, you, if you're able to do that, you're able to dole that nitrogen in smaller amounts, you're gonna get more consistent color, more consistent growth without causing you know, a, a huge surge growth problem that tends to happen during the summer, especially with warm season grass uh, like Bermuda. And the other thing I would recommend is around watering, right? So during the summer months, the, the lawn is gonna get a lot more stress. It's gonna see a lot more heat. Some of you guys are getting seed heads in your lawn. If you guys haven't, if you haven't, haven't seen my videos yet on seed heads, I've got a, a video here that you guys can check out as to why that's happening. But really it's a stress response and you're probably seeing that a lot more. For a warm season lawn like Bermuda, an inch of water per week is really all you need. So if it rains, you probably can get away with not watering that week if you're in the Southeast United States. But if it doesn't rain, an inch of water per week is really all you you need to help maintain that nice deep green lawn. The probably the most important thing outside of your fertilization and adequate watering is mowing. Really mowing is probably the most important thing, but I say that one for last. I want to say the best one for last, right? I always want to make sure I deliver the most valuable tip at the end for you guys. And the best thing I can tell you guys is over the summer months, picking up your mowing frequency is going to be really critical to getting a deep green lawn and helping it stay green between mowings. Because remember, when it comes to grass, and I've got my little prop here, my uh, my Arden 15 plot that I'm growing here, is that really only the upper third part of the grass is what's green, right? When the lawn is growing more aggressively during summer months, if we're waiting like a week or, you know, 10 days to mow the lawn, we're cutting off too much of this green loveliness, right? So the idea is that we want to pick up our mowing frequency, and if we can, mow the lawn twice per week. That's the goal, um, and that's going to do a lot between as you begin cutting it, what's going to be left after you're done mowing it is still going to be green. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this, and what I've also got here for you guys is a video that kind of ties all this together. So if you guys want to see proper watering, proper fertilization, proper granular carbon amendments, proper liquid carbon amendments, you know, irrigation, like all the stuff tied together all in one series. You want to see a before and after, like a complete transformation story that you guys can actually do this summer. Take a look at this playlist I'm going to have right here. It talks about what we did on my, my friend Alex's lawn. Uh, it shows the entire transformation. I think you guys will get a lot of value out of it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.